Hello, it is Ashley with Budgets Made Easy and the Money Mindset Podcast. This is the first podcast episode uh, that's also YouTube video. So I'm trying to do both. Um, if you, I am going to be discussing cash envelopes. So if you want to see the cash envelopes that I use and what I'm talking about, go to YouTube to see that. Uh, if you're listening on the Money Mindset Podcast, if you like to listen on the go, especially without ads, follow the Money Mindset Podcast on your favorite podcast player. So it's on Alexa, it's on uh, Apple, it's on Google, it's on all the things, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Um, so, you know, check that out uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. So I'm going to um, talk a little bit about cash envelopes using actual cash or using a digital app, because this comes up a lot in the free Facebook group. And of course, if you're not in the group yet, join the Facebook group. Lots of discussion. It's a big group, lots of people from all over the world, different things that they're working on, things like that. So um, a question about, you know, apps, what's your favorite app? What, what cash envelopes do you like? All the things, uh, that everybody asks about. So I wanted to address that today. I use a mix of, um, digital versus physical cash. So it kind of depends. Um, I use, um, physical cash for things like fun eating out, hair, um, just spending on whatever you want, uh, animals that I have to go to like tractor supply. But if it's things that I get with my groceries, like um, I get my dog food with groceries at Walmart, but I also used to have to get special dog food at tractor supply with the farm animal food as well. Um, so I would break that up. Whatever I get with groceries, I use in my grocery budget. Now, I used to use cash for groceries until they started doing grocery pickup. Now it's all electronic. I'm not going into shop. I don't have time for that with three kids and it's just a, it's a nightmare. So um, I don't use cash for food anymore, except for like restaurants and eating out and things like that. Uh, I also have cash for kids stuff. So school supplies, sports, um, fundraisers, all those things. Now sports registration fees, I have to pay online. Um, so it is getting a little bit harder and it has changed through the years uh, what I use cash for. And you will just have to kind of see what works for you, right? So um, there's also some apps that you can use uh, to kind of do the digital system. Um, you know, some people use YNAB. I've never actually used YNAB because I haven't found an app that really works with how my brain works and how I teach you to budget, which is by paycheck, not the first through the 31st. Uh, so usually if I use some kind of app like that, it's just to like track my net worth because it can automatically sign into my account. So I've used Mint. I use Mint for years. Um, I've also used Personal Capital. That's the one that I've been using for the last couple years. And I can put the links below as well. That's just, I just kind of use it to track my net worth, not necessarily like budgeting per se. I still use uh, pen and paper for the most part. And then I also have a spreadsheet that I use for some things. Like I don't even use a spreadsheet for all of my budgeting. I like having physical things. I like having actual books, um, except, you know, since I've had three kids, I listen to a lot of books now, but there are a lot. Um, it kind of depends on the book, right? So it kind of depends on um, if I want to take notes and things like that, if I get the actual book or listen to the audiobook. But anyway, the same thing goes for planning. Same thing goes for my business and my budget. I just like pen and paper. And I think that eventually things are going to come back around where people want to get away from devices. So it may take some a couple of years, but I do feel like there's just something different about pen and paper and like actually having a physical book, having the physical notebook and just kind of, it makes it real. It just, you can touch it. You can feel it. You can smell it. It just makes it more real than digital, but you know, 
sometimes when you're busy and you have kids, it's easier to do digital. So YNAB is one. Some people use Mint, um, but I don't really find Mint um, useful as a budgeting app or cash envelope system. Like it, it it's not really what it's meant for, right? Um, a lot of banks have a budgeting um, section in the app as well. Still not the same thing, right? Like it tells you where things are going and it it doesn't work the same way. Like it's, it's not working how I teach you how to budget manage your money. So it's not really going to work for cash envelope system. Now I have used Q and I've actually uh, promoted them in the past. Um, I have done a hour-long Q&A, which I'll upload to YouTube as well. Um, and I really liked them. However, recently I have had some issues with their customer service. I think they are making changes to kind of help rectify that. Um, I've got some emails. We shall see. The concept is great. Uh, the product works. It is a bank. You get a debit card. The only thing that I didn't like about it, and it really did hinder me from using it, was that um, I had you have to get into the app, approve the purchase before you swipe the card. So when you're busy and you have kids screaming and hanging on you at the store and you're trying to go through the drive through that I didn't like that part of it. But I do understand the concept and why they um, did that because then you have to, it's an extra step where you have to be intentional with your money. So it does, um, it is a digital cash envelope system. Like that's what they built. That's how it works. Uh, I believe right now you can only get it in the U S uh, it is a bank. And so I have had issues because I typed in my last name wrong. I think it was something stupid. I typed, I had a typo and now I cannot like do anything. It's very annoying. They haven't fixed it. Um, but that's, that's my only complaint. Um, and it was my own fault, but you would think that they'd be able to fix it because now I can't get into my account. I can't, it, it, it's, it's a whole thing and it's been months and it hasn't been resolved. Actually it might even be a year now. It hasn't been resolved. So really super annoying. Um, but as long as you don't do that and it, like you don't have any issues with creating the account, it works really well. Another thing you can do to um, use digital cash envelopes, and another thing that I do is to use multiple bank accounts and or buckets. So now, whenever I set mine up, the banks did not have this bucket system that they do now. Same concept, but you have one account and then you just say um, you create buckets and buckets are categories in that account and you allocate how much is in each envelope in each account. I just have like 20 different bank accounts for different things for, we have two businesses. So each business has its own bank accounts and we have our personal accounts and we have, we have three different banks. And so, you know, how I'm doing is a little bit more complicated because of the business aspect of it. Like that's like half the accounts, right? Um, but you can do that as well. So what I would recommend is at least have one um, account that is a checking account so you can use a debit card. And then the other ones can be savings accounts and you can just transfer in an app. So there's set, like, you can do this with pretty much any bank. Sometimes credit unions are kind of iffy about it. Like they don't want you to have a bunch of accounts or it, it's a little bit harder. Like their website, or at least mine. And I, I'll say that um, speaking to other people that I work with, uh, they also credit you. Not all the credit unions have all the fancy features that the big banks have. Uh, they're like the my credit union. The website is so antiquated. It's just old and clunky. I do not like it. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, they don't even have an app. Like who doesn't have an app now? It's 2023. I almost said 2021, but it's 2023 and they don't even have an app. So that's annoying, but you know, their customer service is good. Their interest rates are good. Um, they still have the drive-through tellers, <laughs> my, <laughs> which is with the bigger banks. Uh, they have gotten rid of those as well. 
So that's a, like, you have a lot of options to use digital. Now, remember you can use a mix. So I use a mix of digital and physical cash envelopes. So I'm going to show you my cash, the different cash envelopes that I've used through the years. So if you're listening on the podcast and you want to see it again, go to YouTube, Budgets Made Easy and sub subscribe. Like I'm almost to a thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube. So I would love it if you would jump over there and give me a I it's subscribe over there, not follow. I think the podcast is following out anyway. Okay. So when I first started being very intentional with my budget and using cash, um, I got a coupon, just a simple coupon organizer. I think my mom even got it. Um, I believe she got this one at Target. Uh, and I just, it has the little dividers in there and I labeled them. You can see I've got food, chickens, gifts, fun, house, vehicles, clothes, lunch, hair, and kids. Now, what I, you can also get these at like the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Uh, so this one was probably more like $5 because it's a little bit fancier maybe than the Dollar Tree. I don't really know. It is thicker. What I didn't like about this was there's nowhere to put your change. And I had to still carry a wallet because I didn't want like my ID and all of that in here. So that part was annoying, but I used this the entire time that we were paying off debt, which was a year and a half. So I think I started using cash envelopes a couple months in. So let's just say I use this coupon organizer for a year. I mean, come on, that's simple. It's easy. It's cheap. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on a coupon or a coupon, a <laughs> cash envelope system, right? You don't have to do that. Uh, then, so when, once we paid off debt, I was like, oh, I'm going to get a nice cash um, envelope wallet. So I went to Etsy and I had this one personalized and custom made. And it was like 80 freaking dollars. Okay. It's got my initials on it. Um, it, each envelope has a zipper, so you can put the change in there. You can zip it up. It has a place for your driver's license and cards. It has a place for loose change. Um, so I really liked all of those things. And I had food, miscellaneous, fun, gifts, clothes, kids, animals, hair. So it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, envelopes. They're all embroidered. Uh, with the labels and all of that. So the things that I didn't and still don't like about it is it doesn't zip completely closed. So if you just put stuff in here and you strap it, stuff still falls out. Uh, and then it, and it's cloth. So those of you listening can't see that, but it's cloth. So it gets dirty. And then to clean it, you have to take everything out of it. I did not like that at all. Um, and it is big. So if you can see that, like, this is my hand. It's like one and a half hands. It's, it's big. Uh, and you can't add any more envelopes to it. You can't take out envelopes. So you have to, you know, you carry around this kind of a bigger wallet. And I did use this for, um, gosh, I used this for two or three years. So I did use it quite a while. Then I got the Lux wallet and I will put a link to them below because this is my favorite wallet and I've been using it now for probably four years, four or five years. I'm still using it <laughs> to the point that it's actually, um, it's still like the only thing that has happened is the little tassel thing came off the zipper which I could put another one on there. I just haven't. Um, but you like, there's no wear on this thing. It's leather. And like I said, I've been using it for four plus years. It's been in my wallet or my purse. <laughs> it's been in my purse that whole time. Like, I love it. And there's like, it looks brand new still. And I use this every day, right? It has a place for all your cards, which I'm not going to show you because I don't want to accidentally show anything on YouTube. Um, but the one thing that I do like, and I am going to show you, if I can do it here without showing everything, is you can use different envelopes with this one. So it's got the six hole punch. So you can print your own envelopes. You can use scrapbook paper. Um, I have uh, digital um, cash envelopes that you can print off in, in my shop. So if you go to budgetsmadeeasy.com slash shop, you can get different designs there. So you can um, really have a lot of fun with it, customize it and change it out all the time. Now I get lazy and I don't change it out very often. And now I got these, the envelopes that I have 
um, are from Lux. So you can actually get their envelopes as well. They um, have them where they're clear and you can get them already labeled. So now I have food, fun, kids, that's a receipt, animals, care. And as you can see right now, well, right now there's, there's no cash in here for any of these categories right now, because I have not been really since 2020, um, you know, when there was a shortage of cash and we wanted to use cash, I got out of the habit and the routine of getting cash. And so I have been really bad about it since then. Now I just have, when I have cash, I just shove it in the wallet. Um, this also fits my phone. So my iPhone Pro Max or whatever it is, the big one, it fits in here and it zips up. So nothing falls out when I zip it up. As you can see, <laughs> I am kind of lazy and I just throw stuff in there and I don't always zip it up because usually I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to get my card out really fast and then I lose my card. I don't understand how I lose my card so much because I stick them in the same area. It's just me. It's not the wallet, obviously. Um, I don't put things back where I was supposed to. So that's what I'm using now. And you can actually get 10% off of a Lux wallet. They also have bundles like Get You Started. And they also, let's see if I have it here. Oh, I don't. I don't remember where I stuck it. They also have trackers that you can put in your cash envelopes, which I never do. For me, if I'm using cash, I'm not tracking it. Like, that's just an extra step and I usually forget or I don't have time. And that's one benefit of using cash that I like is I don't have to track it. Like once the money is gone, it's gone and you're technically supposed to stop spending in that category. That doesn't always happen, right? Sometimes we take money from one envelope to another, um, but it does help because you have actual cash and it is an entirely different feeling to hand over cash versus swiping a card. Numerous studies have shown that you spend less with cash because it's different mentally. It just psychologically, it's different to hand over cash. Like I can tell you when I use a card, like I don't really think about it. And when I use cash, when I'm like putting things on, like I'm checking out, I will put stuff back because I don't want to hand over the cash. I'm like, oh, I don't really need that. Like I do that way more with cash than I do with swiping a card. It just doesn't feel real with a card. So those are the different options, digital cash envelopes, physical cash envelopes. Um, there is no right or wrong way. So you don't have to pick one. You can use both. I use both. I have for years. Figuring out a system that works for you is the key to long-term success. So don't feel like you have to do it one way or another. It takes trying. It takes uh, making mistakes. It takes figuring it out along the way. You just have to get started, right? So please like, subscribe, YouTube, the podcast, follow along so that you get new episodes. I will be uploading more YouTube videos of past podcast episodes as well. So keep an eye out for that, especially if you haven't listened to the podcast, more episodes are coming on YouTube that maybe you haven't heard yet. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed and following along so you don't miss it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.